What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we are making this delicious tea that's going to boost your immunity. Let's get into it. Well, hello there, and welcome back to Wells Wellness. I'm so excited to see you here today. And I know I need to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I've been gone a little longer than anticipated. So I'm so thankful to some of my OG subscribers for sending me text messages and letting me know that these videos have been missed and have been useful. So I'm so excited to get back and get another one to you. Sometimes, I know you guys can relate, life just be life in. And it hit me like, but through and through, God is so good. And to make up for my absence, I have a delicious herbal tea that you can make. It's super easy and it's gonna help you boost your immunity. So without further ado, we can get into it. And also, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a wellness coach and I'm here to provide you wellness content that's gonna help your life mentally, physically, and spiritually. So if that interests you at all, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Let's get into it. All right, we're starting off with a nice pot and now we're gonna add about 10 ounces to 16 ounces of water in your pot, depending on how much tea that you wanna make. Now you see me adding a little less than a tablespoon of oregano and you want to make sure it's organic if possible. A teaspoon of turmeric. This is really going to help reduce inflammation and a half a teaspoon of pepper which is going to activate the turmeric and then we're going to add about two to three teaspoons of ginger. However you can get your ginger. Next Go ahead and stir this pot and we're going to bring this to a boil. While we wait for this to boil, I just wanted to take a moment and to express why we use oregano. So oregano has amazing antibacterial properties that are really going to help fight infections. And if you would like, you can totally replace this with a clove of garlic if you choose. However, let's just be honest, sometimes garlic is just nasty to drink. Um, so you can choose whatever you like in this one. We are also using ginger for its ability to fight germs and also reduce inflammation as well. Now that your tea is reached boiling point, we're just going to put a lid on it, take it off the heat and let it sit for about 10 minutes. All right, now that that is finished, you have these beautiful drinks here. You can put it in a nice, beautiful mug. Um, and you can also, if you would like a sweetener, a little bit of honey or agave will do just fine. And for an additional useful tip, please be advised that turmeric can stain your cups. That didn't happen in our case. We just washed the cups immediately after using it. But just from other experiences, you want to wash your cups immediately after using turmeric or use a cup that you don't mind staining, okay? I don't want y'all mad at me. <laughs> Anywho, I hope this recipe is useful. I hope that you try it and enjoy it. Share this video with a loved one and let me know how you enjoy it. See you next time.